Gross tonnage and net tonnage are two critical terms in shipping. While they might sound similar, they serve very different purposes. In this video, we'll simplify these concepts and explain the key differences. The terms gross register tonnage, GRT, and net register tonnage, NRT, were used in the past to measure a ship's capacity. However, these terms are now obsolete and have been replaced by gross tonnage, GT, and net tonnage, NT, under the International Convention on Tonnage Measurement of Ships, adopted in 1969. Gross tonnage represents the total volume of all enclosed spaces in a ship. It gives us a picture of the ship's overall size and capacity. It's not about weight but the size of the ship based on the spaces enclosed within its hull and superstructure. These enclosed spaces include but are not limited to cargo holds, cruise quarters, engine rooms, and navigation areas like bridge. Gross tonnage forms the basis for manning regulations, safety rules, and registration fees. Net tonnage refers to the volume of cargo carrying spaces. It is indicative of the vessel's earning potential. Net tonnage is about the revenue earning spaces on the ship. It is used for ship's dues. Unlike gross tonnage, it only considers the spaces available for cargo or passenger transport. It cannot be less than 30% of the gross tonnage of a ship. Both gross and net tonnage are dimensionless numbers and are shown in the ship's international tonnage certificate. They do not have any physical units and should not be confused with units of mass, namely tons. Let's differentiate enclosed spaces and excluded spaces as per the International Tonnage Convention of 1969. Enclosed spaces are all those spaces which are bounded by the ship's hull, by fixed or portable partitions or bulkheads, by decks or coverings other than permanent or movable awnings. No break in a deck, nor any opening in the ship's hull, in a deck or in a covering of a space, or in the partitions or bulkheads of a space, nor the absence of a partition or bulkhead, shall preclude a space from being included in the enclosed space. It means that enclosed spaces are areas inside a ship that are completely surrounded by walls, floors, ceilings, or other solid boundaries. These boundaries can be permanent or temporary, like the ship's hull, fixed or movable walls, called partitions or bulkheads, and decks. Even if there are openings, gaps, or missing walls in these spaces, they are still considered enclosed spaces as long as they are mostly surrounded by the ship structure. A space shall be considered an excluded space in the following cases. A space within an erection opposite to an end opening extending from deck to deck. A space under an overhead deck covering, open to the sea and weather, with no other connection to the ship side other than stanchions. A space in erection immediately below an uncovered opening in the deck overhead, which is exposed to weather. A space in a side-to-side -side erection directly in way of opposite side openings. A recess in the boundary bulkhead of an erection which is exposed to the weather and the opening of which extends from deck to deck without means of closing. Let's examine the key differences between gross tonnage and net tonnage. The gross tonnage is the overall size of the ship, while net tonnage is the revenue earning capacity. All enclosed spaces are included in the gross tonnage, while in the net tonnage, only revenue-related enclosed spaces are included. For the excluded spaces, gross tonnage excluded open spaces defined under the 1969 convention, while net tonnage are those non-revenue spaces subtracted from gross tonnage. That's all for now, I hope you found this video helpful, see you in my next video, thank you for watching, bye.